Sometimes when you're working with data in QGIS or any software, you'll encounter a situation like this. I have a city's point layer for the world. And if I open the attribute table, I see all the data, but unfortunately all my columns, so all my fields are just called field one, field two, field three. And that's not very helpful when I go to filter or style things or I want to label things. I can't remember what's in these fields. So a quick solution here is to use an alias. But first, let's just double check what the fields contain. I downloaded the data from GeoNames and thankfully they tell me what the field names are. I can see that the name of the city is in field two. I've got latitude and longitude. So what I'll do is I'll just move this to my other screen. I'll close the attribute table and I'll double click on the city's 15,000 layer. And there I will go to attributes form and I'll click field one. And in the alias box, type in geo name ID. Field two is name. And let's go to field five and six, which is latitude and longitude. I'm not gonna change them all just now. So let's click okay. And then we'll just reopen that table. And now we can see the ones I've renamed have got the correct column headers, geo name, ID, name, latitude, longitude. And if I went back again for field nine, I could call it country code. I like to put an under, underscore instead of a space. Okay, and we'll open the table one more time. So that's how you can quickly change field names. This doesn't change it in the actual data set. It's just for display purposes and it's particularly useful in cases like this. So use an alias if you need to change the field name quickly.